This is lesson 149. It's our writing practice. We do not have a writing paper, but we're going to have a writing practice. We're going to do names today. Okay, I have my blank paper. Yours has six lines and a name line. And I think it has an elephant and something else on it. I don't remember what it is. I don't have one in front of me right now, but these are my lines. And I'm going to I'm going to practice with you making your capital letters because your name starts with a capital all the time. So as you remember that, you write that all the time. Capital first. And all the rest of them are lowercase. Are you ready? My first student, number one, Cubby, starts with a B and a nice straight line. And I'm not bouncing up here because I can't stand the line very well. So I came up here and I'm going to go out from here. Bounce and bounce again. Make another round. And I don't go in the basement because there's spiders down there and I don't like spiders. So um, my student that has their name starting with a B. This one was for you. So do it very carefully. And all of the rest of your letters are lowercase. Okay. So let's go on to the next one. And I have my next letter is an E. And this is for my, um, I have two of them and they are in cubby two and three. So this is for both of you boys. So here we go. We start an E at the top, capital. Make sure that you touch the top line and the bottom line. And then from there, you go across the top, very carefully, across the dotty line, which is the middle, and across the bottom. And since I have two E students, I'm gonna make two E's. So let's go carefully go across the top and across the middle and across the bottom. There you go. So the two boys with the E in the beginning of their name, that's for you. So after that, I have, I don't have anybody in cubby four, but cubby five is with an H go. H. And an H is very, very straight. Two straight lines. Mine's a little ziggy-zaggy, but I'm trying. And then you cross it over there. So my student with the letter H, be very careful to get the first letter nice and straight and a capital. The rest of your letters are lowercase. Remember that. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. My next letter is for two students that I have. And they're in cubby seven and eight. So these, this one's for you. And I'm going to do two of these because I have two students with J. Capital J. Nice round hook. There you go. So it's really hard to stay on squiggly with this, but I'm trying really hard. Let me do another one. This is for my eighth cubby. Okay, that one is a little straighter. So for the two boys with the, that start with a J, remember to make your capital J nice and tall. No dot because the lowercase has a dot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. And my next student in cubby nine is beginning with an L, capital L, remember the capital L. And then you go across that line and it's nice and straight. Remember, make that elbow 
that needs to be there. So go straight down and then make the elbow and go straight across. And that is for my student with the name starts with an L. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And my next one is in cubby 10. And your this student's name starts with a P. A nice straight and around and you touch on the dotty line. Now remember the capital letter here and then um, it doesn't go in the basement at all for the beginning letter. But since you have two P's in your name, I'm going to show you the lowercase one too and make sure that you can see it against that other one. So this one starts at the dotty line, goes into the basement, and I like to have you go back up and over and make its chin right on that bottom line. So this is the one that goes in the basement. Make sure it's all the way down to the bottom of the basement and it doesn't go above the dotty line. And the roundy part fills the entire space between the dotty line and the bottom line. So that is for my student who starts with a P and also has another P in her name. So let's go to the next one. And this student has cubby number 11. And I'm going to start your name. And it starts with a an R. Beautiful R. And my name starts with an R too. So you go straight down and then go from where you start. If you need if you want to go back up, that's fine, but on this one it's sometimes easier to lift and go around and out. There you go. It has its legs sticking out. So for my student that it starts with an R, this one was for you. I'm going to erase that one. And my student who has cubby number 12, this is your capital letter. So make it a tall, tall line. And then remember, you don't start at that line. You have to start here and go across to meet it. So you go all the way across and keep going. Don't lift your pencil. You start here and you go all the way across the top. So make sure that you don't go from here out and then from there out this way. It has to be two straight lines. One is down and one is across. So let's do that again so you can make sure you're following carefully. So start at the top line, go to the bottom line, don't go in the basement. And then you start out here, kind of look, oh, let's see, I can make it from here to there. So then you go across the top. There you go. A nice tall T. So that's for you, my student with the letter T for the first part of your name, capital T, and the rest will be lowercase. So be very careful with that. And I'm going to end this right here. I'm going to clear the page and then I will say bye-bye.